Hello everyone, I'm back with a bit of info about the new Necron Codex and the unit information it gives. First of all, there's so little info about the units, what or who they were. Though, they don't have full pages of background lore, like in the old codexes, so it comes to look it up from the old ones. A bit disappointing, yes, but I have come up with a little bit of info to share with those who are interested of the new units. First, there is a new leader who makes sure the Overlord's will is carried out to the troops he she is with. Uh, it is called Royal Warden. As I said, they ensure that the will of the Lords is carried out in the dynasty's vast armies. They have enough independence to adapt the strategies of Fanlexes they lead in combat. And their own thoughts too. Though deep inside them are buried protocols that keep them unquestionably loyal to their masters. Second is about old units, but they are all divided in certain groups. Cryptics are now divided in four different types of characters. Uh, technomancers, psychomancers, chronomancers and plasmancers. Uh, most of the lore about them I already covered in my video about cryptics. The third one is the most interesting and they are all destroy cults. So, regular destroyers everyone knew and now have been divided. The cults have been named as Locust. The ones we know use the Gravesless to skimmer through the battlefields and fire good amount of firepower to eradicate their enemies. Scorpic destroyers instead favors close quarter slaughter than ranged combat. They have installed tribot limbs to get fast to their targets and start slaughtering them with flurry of blows that are impossible to evade or block. Of Hurian destroyers, echo of Canoptic raids and the flayed ones fused together. But they can go through solid material with ease and embers their prey, hacking and rending them into the pieces. Last one is a bit more of a loner destroyer, but dangerous as everyone else. The Hexmark destroyer. They were once death marks, but uh, when they did go mad from the curse, they turn into this. Having three bot limbs and six arms, which everyone holds with dangerous pistols. Also, seven eyes with an independent ocular targeting and optimized fire patterns leave their prey with no way of escaping. If that wasn't enough, they can also burst from the oubliettes like ambushing predators. The rest of the units are either not Necrons or are vehicles, so I ain't gonna include them here. Anyways, this is the end of this episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. I might come up uh, in the future of something else, but we shall see. So, sub, like, and leave comment if there's something to add. Until next time then, everyone, bye-bye!